Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade, chapter seven, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, okay, so we are going to go in and cross cancel and then multiply straight across, guys. Okay, we're not gonna use the models, we're gonna just do the math, okay? So I see two numbers, a top and a bottom that are identical, so I can cross them out and just put a one. Okay, now on the other hand, we can still do two and six. So two goes into two once, two goes into six three times. So now I have one times one, which is one, and I have one times three, which is three. Done. Okay. We are not going to draw a model, so we're just going to do some math. Okay. All right. So now two goes into two once, two goes into four twice, and I can't reduce anything with the five or the one. So two times one, two. Five times one, five, done. Okay. See those identical numbers? Cross them out and put ones. Okay. Three goes into three ones and three goes into three ones. Okay. So now one times one is one and four times one is four. Done. Okay. Identical numbers, cross them out, put ones. Two goes into two. Once, two goes into eight, four times. So now one times one is one, four times one is four, done. Okay, this one they're trying to trick you because they gave you two sets of identical numbers, but both the sets of identical numbers are both on top or both on bottom. So you can't actually do anything with that. So, but three times three is nine and five times five is 25. Can't reduce that any more than it already is. So we are going to go down and we are going to do number seven. And it says Nora has a piece of ribbon that is three quarters yard long. She will use half of it to make a bow. So three quarters by one half. Okay. And three times one, three, four times two, eight. Three eighths yard. Done. Okay. Marlon bought seven eighths pound of turkey at the deli. Used two thirds of it. How much turkey did Marlon use? So, seven eighths times two thirds. Okay. Well, two goes into two once, two goes into eight four times, or seven times one, sorry. Seven times one is seven. Four times three, 12. So seven twelfths of a pound. Done. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go on to the back. You guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always. We're gonna go down and do the spiral review. Okay, so just a second. Oh. Okay. Tatum bought 48 new trading cards. Three fourths of the cards are baseball cards. How many baseball cards? So, three quarters of, because of always means multiply, 48. Okay. Well, I'm going to put that 48 over one. So I have two fractions, and I know that 4 goes into 4 once, and 4 goes into 48 12 times. Probably don't know that off the top of your head, but you do know that 4 goes into 4 once, 4 goes into 8 twice, 1 and 2. So there you go. Okay? So now I have 3 times 12 is 36, and 1 times 1 is 1, which means 36 cards. Okay. Yesterday, Annie walked nine tenths of a mile to her friend's house. Together, they walked a third of a mile to the library, which is the best estimate for how far Annie walked yesterday. Okay. Well, nine tenths of a mile is about one mile. And one third of a mile, let's just call that a half. I would say about one and a half miles. It was an estimate. Okay. All right. Erin is going to sew a jacket and a skirt. She needs 
two and three quarters yards of material for the jacket and one and a half yards of material for the skirt. Altogether, how many yards of material does she need? So, two and three quarters and one and a half. Okay, so first I need a common denominator, which of two and four is going to be four. So, I'm going to do two and three quarters because that's already four. Okay, so I'm going to keep it a four. Plus, in order to get the two to four, I had to multiply it by two. So I need to multiply the top by two. So I'm going to get two. Oops, sorry. Two and two fourths. Okay. <clears throat> so now two plus two is four. Three plus two is five. And my denominator stays a four. You will notice that the top is bigger than the bottom. We can do that. So I'm going to go four goes into five one time. I would have one left over and my denominator stays four. So now I'm gonna have five and one quarter yards. Okay, so a four plus the one that I took, she would still have one left over. Okay, all right. Simplify the following expression. I'm going to write and us. Uh, Okay, parentheses, we do have those. Okay, so we're gonna do the inside parentheses first. Okay, so I'm still going to rewrite a plus sign in the middle and divided by seven, because those aren't gonna disappear just because I do this. Okay, so three times six is 18, five times two is 10. Okay, we still have parentheses. So I'm still going to do divide by 7 at the end. 18 plus 10 is 28, and 28 divided by 7 is 4. Okay? So go ahead, write down your work, show your work. Okay? Pause it, go back to whatever you need to do. And I will see you soon for 7.5.